Hey, good morning, everybody. Today we're on a job. We, uh, we poured the floor in that house about a week and a half ago. This morning, it's a Monday morning. The weather was crazy this morning. It was raining and pouring, and the wind was blowing 50 miles an hour. So it's about mid-morning now. Things have cleared out. The temperature's gotten up a little bit warmer. So we decided to come down and do this floor down here in this breezeway. Now, it's just a mud slab, so we don't have to finish it, which is basically the reason we're here. And then we'll have to come back and find time to do this garage. We probably we got a lot of jobs still on the list. It's the last week of November. The temperatures are getting really cold. Uh, tomorrow, I think they're calling for a high of about 32 with about 18 early in the morning. So we're trying to get as many of these jobs done as we can before it freezes. But at least we'll get that done today, and then they can deck it over. Once they deck it over, the access isn't very good in there, so we just wanted to get that done. Basically, just got a full float finish it. So we're about ready to go. Drop it just a little bit. I'm gonna go buy you a loop for a sec. Told her she could write one up and you'd look at it. Yeah. She says it's for donations, but you don't have to give donations if you don't want it. Hey.
That's going pretty good. Like I said, the bofo finish is all we got to do. So that product is done. Treat this down, bofo it, and then we can get out of here today. One more just like that. He goes, I don't know if I can handle the mark. You know Dicky, he words it so well. Oh, yes. I can't remember his exact words, but it was enough to make us laugh. Yeah. I didn't even watch it. Working, Mike? 
Yeah. Okay, that's gonna do it for today. So in and out, that's what we like. Probably, I don't know, less than an hour to do that. But the good thing is we got it done and they can deck it over. They don't have to wait for us because it's bad weather. Last week in November, it's cold. They're gonna, the floor package will sit on that shelf right there. You know, and then they'll run it over to the top of the wall here. So I, that's not even four feet of four feet of headroom down there, and that's not fun pouring floors when you got to be bent over like that. Plus, no access, so we would have had to pull pour down through a hole in the plywood. And we're just glad to get that done today. So we'll get our grade shot on this. This is going to pitch about an inch and a half to the drain. Get our boards up. And they'll cover it with blankets, and then we'll just hope to get back here sometime this week. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. All right, so this is a sneak look inside the concrete underground where I have multiple trainings, multiple different categories on how I teach you how to pour and finish concrete, how to repair concrete, how to do epoxy coatings. There's just multiple different trainings where I go in-depth and teach you how to do all this stuff.